2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai, of Mashiach, that everyone may give, that everyone may receive the things done in his body, according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. We persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. And His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Icons. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bear. That's the thing that people on the earth don't realize. You're going to have to pay for the things you have been doing on the face of the earth. You get a reward for the things that you've been doing on the face of the earth. Whether it's good, whether it's bad, man. We're all going to get judged for the things that we have been doing, man. People do, people just don't get that. There ain't no such thing as YOLO either. All right? You only live once. You get to be crazy as hell. You get to be wild as hell. You get to do whatever you want to. And then wham, bam, poof, you're out of here. N nothing said, nothing done. It don't go out like that, man. You see? They're going to know it by death, by pain. As the scripture has said, let's get it again. Second Corinthians, just something quick through the spirit. I got to get ready to head out. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. For we, for we must all, all, man, all right? Even, even in the non-believers, non you know what I'm saying? And the so-called atheists. They're going to have to appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see, the people that believe in Allah, Buddha, Santa Maria, they self. You know, money, cars, clothes, and you know the rest. Everyone is going to have to appear before the judgment seat. That's why we warn people. Starting off with the Israelites, Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans, we warn you pretty much every day the warning goes forth. That you're going to have to appear before the judgment seat. You're going to have to face the true judge, man. All right? The true judge. You see? So we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body. His or her, you see, his or her, according to that he have done or she have done, whether it be good or bad, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. We persuade men. The Lord got to threaten you with these words week in and week out. Shit, this woman just deleted her babies this morning. I mean, it's really going down. That that um that Capri Sun has a large part to play in it too. All right? See, like everybody that took that, pretty much everybody that took that Capri Sun is bugging the hell out right about now. Y'all don't see that? Y'all don't see that, all right? I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. I, I needed my job, though. I needed my job. N now what do you need? Now, now what? You, got, you got bigger problems than a job now. You got bigger problems. Hey, look, people better go uh, start watching that movie, Kingsman, with Samuel L. Jackson in it. You see? Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord. Now we're starting to see the terror of the Lord going throughout the four corners of the earth. Hey, what was it? Uh, Pakistan just got hit with that flood. The Lord, the Lord did it, deleted over a thousand of them at, at one time. It don't play around with the Lord. Y'all, you people ain't getting it yet. You, you still don't get it. That the Lord is not to be played with. You see? All these stupid ass commercials, stupid TV shows. You see, do you had this sleazo mic, you know what I'm saying? Come on, um, did a little show. The elder um when not Zach bought, you know what I'm saying, brung it out last night. So they said they don't need the Lord. They got rain and water preserved. They don't need the Lord. What? It's the Lord that makes it rain, man. It's the Lord that makes it the sun come out. He controls all things, man. All things obey the will of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. And all these nations are gonna fear soon come, man. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. But we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also 
are made manifest in your conscience. But this is a quick little lesson on just fearing. Fearing the Lord, man. Got to keep pushing lessons like this out each and every day pretty much, man. The terror of the Lord this is a big deal. Second uh, Chronicles 15. All this judgment going forth. And then the brother uh, Kabad did a lesson last night. 3.8 million people are getting ready to be evicted. 3.8 million people. That ain't no small number. That ain't, that's you falling into the hands of the living power. And it's a fearful thing. You see, one minute you're on top. Next minute you're on a park bench. 2 Corinthians. 2 Chronicles. Slakia. 15. One minute you're you in a luxury bed, and I'm saying, let's say you know you're on a park bench or on, on, on some church steps sleeping. You see? This is how the Lord get down. You're you gonna learn though. You, you you'll learn. Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13, that whosoever, that whosoever is talking about the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? That whosoever will not seek the Lord power of Israel. See, we're living in a time that we need to be seeking the Lord. Why he may be found. Why this word is still hot and heavy. Why the men of the Lord are still pushing forth these edifying videos through the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Week in and week out. This is the time, not later. That whosoever will not seek the Lord power of Israel should be put to death. And that's plain. That's, that's going on now. The Lord is making this scripture. This scripture is being fulfilled as I read it, man. You see? Whether small or great, whether man or woman, it don't matter who you are. Whether you're famous, whether you're, you're a bum on the sidewalk, it don't, it don't matter. Whether you got a corporate job, whether you're making six figures, it is, the Lord ain't respecting nothing, man. He says, seek him or, or get deleted, whether small or great, whether man or woman, all right? So this pertains to the Israelite man and the Israelite woman, all right? You got more people um, coming up missing than a little bit. I, look, I know they sitting somewhere right now wishing they would have listened. You see? Don't, don't wait till it really pop off to try to listen. And, oh Lord, can you just get me out of this situation right here, Lord, and i never do it again. Don't let it get to that point. You see? Because the Lord knows it's not sincere. Don't wait till something has to happen to you. To fear the Lord or to call on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. You do it now. You seek the Lord early. Job 28. I got to bring this out right quick. Job 28. Let's see. Click on it. Job 28. 28. Like the, we always say this through the Spirit. Like the Lord really got us doing all these lessons each and every day for nothing. When it pop off Israel, it's going to pop off. And your head might pop off. Job 28. 28. And it's a man. He said. Israelite man, woman, a child. Behold, the fear of the Lord. That is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. We must depart from evil. Yeah, we know sleazy E telling you to live your best life and just to do whatever the hell you want to do. But what is the Lord commanding you to do? All right? What is the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son commanding us to do, Israel? That's who we listen to. The Scripture says we ought to obey the Most High, Acts 5 and 29. We ought to obey the Most High rather than man. All right? Just look at Eve looking through on TV. Always trying to convince somebody to, um, to drink that Capri Sun. You see? That, that sleazy East pit bull, man. But, but, but it's all good, though. Everyone's going to have to stand in front of the judgment seat. They're going to have to give account thereof of the things that they were saying, man. The words that you speak, you're going to be held accountable for, man. The things you teach, the things you say, you will be held accountable, all of us. You see? Each and every last one of us. That's why we speak the things according to the Bible, right? This is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. Let's just click on it. This is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Do you not know the wisdom that we read week in and week out? That Bible 
the B-L-B-L-E, do you not know, you, you, you still don't know that the knowledge, wisdom, understanding coming out of that Bible, this is what's going to keep us stable? Man, you can't really see people shit sitting in front of their houses, man. Sad faces everywhere. But oh yeah, yeah the Bible ain't real, it's just a fairy tale book, right? When, when, you, when there ain't nothing but judgments going forth each and every day, man. People, th th these waters is taking people down the street. Storm, look, we living in a hurricane season. All these animals attacked. I mean, we got to keep going over this, man. The Lord, the Lord is really visiting the earth with destruction. But oh yeah, sleazy E keep telling you that everything is going to be all right. Remain calm. Man, stop listening to that dude, man. Listen to the words of the Lord. What is the words of the Lord saying? You see? Sleazy, he don't control nothing. Isaiah 29 and 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts. That's why it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. The Lord of armies with thunder and with earthquake and great noise. With storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. But y'all gonna wait until this happens. You nigelize, you grimace, y'all gonna wait till this happen, till the Lord bring some thunder upon you. Or you get caught up in an earthquake, you see? Or, or a strong tempest, which is a, a mighty storm. Or you get caught up in a house fire or a wild forest fire, you you, you gonna wait till, you, till that happens, right? It's through, just through, man. You gonna wait till the Lord send a Jeffrey Dahmer after you, right? Or, or um, a Jason or a Chainsaw Massacre, Texas Chainsaw Massacre individual. You're going to wait till the Lord send a spirit, creative a vengeance after you, right? Then you're going, Lord, forgive me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Feet don't fail me now, right? Come on. Come on now. When, when are you Israelites going to get serious about life, man? When, when are you finally going to get serious about life? And stop playing these foolish, childish games, man. Because the Lord sure enough ain't playing, all right? More plane crashes. Better get your prayer on. The, the hell with getting your eagle on. You better get your prayer on. Ezekiel 18. This ain't no game. Ezekiel chapter 18. It's about to be a great famine on the face of the earth, man. Cannibalism. Wars. Cannibalism. Famine. Race wars, class wars, civil wars. This is not the time to be playing around. Ezekiel 18 and 30. Let's just get it right quick. Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 30. Therefore will I judge you, O house of Israel, our people before us a place. The Lord said, I'm going to judge you. You see? The Lord said he's going to judge you, Israel. A people before us a place which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and that's going forth now. She's got a woman on TV, you know what I'm saying? She just deleted two of her babies. And, and she look like she don't know what the hell happened. They Capri son, man. Plus, plus, plus they get, these people got demons on them. You see, cars stolen, involved in early morning crash on Capitol Boulevard. It, it's going down, man. You see, ain't nothing but wickedness going on throughout the four corners of the earth. Every time you turn around, nothing but wickedness. So the Lord said, what again? Ezekiel 18 and 30. Therefore, will I judge you. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel. Everyone, whether, whether you acknowledge that you're an Israelite or not, it, it don't matter to the Lord. All right? Plane delays, people sitting in the airport, an extra five, ten hours. Or 24 hours is it, going down. Everyone according to his or her ways. Save the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Repent. Turn back sorrowful. Turn back sorrowful, Israel. Remorseful, regretful for the things that we have been doing. And turn yourselves from all your transgressions. So iniquity shall not be your ruin. Turn from your sins. So wickedness shall not be your ruin, man. Because that's going to be a whole lot of people's ruins, man. Straight up, man. And then the Lord said, when these things, when you start seeing Israel get kicked the hell out, or you see Israel just sitting somewhere in, in a car crash when the car just bent up like, like a, and folded like an envelope, the Lord said, don't pray for them. Don't cry for them. Look, no matter who it is, no matter who it is, because remember, 
Remember, pursuant to um, Romans the 10th chapter, this word then went out already. So it ain't no crying for nobody, man. All right? And I, I want to get it right quick. Jeremiah 11 and 14. I just want to get it right quick. The Israelites that didn't take heed to this word, when it pop off, this is what the Lord is telling the hopeful elect. Jeremiah 11 and 14, therefore, pray not thou for this people. You see, you pray for the ones that's like you. Seek out those that are such be like-minded as you. You see? Like we're supposed to be praying for the Israelite women that go out there and get them BBLs and then her ass pop out. You know what I'm saying? It's split wide open. And, and she's deleted. And, and, and looking through at the gym. We, we know, man. All right? We, we ain't praying for no drug dealer. We ain't praying for no game banger. All right? We're not praying for an adulterer or a duchess. We're not praying for an idol worshiper. We're not praying for a witch or a warlock. No. All right? No. Jeremiah 11 and 14. Therefore, pray not thou for this people. Neither lift up a cry or prayer for them. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. All right? And that's exactly what's coming upon our people. Trouble. Dangerous, hazardous, perilous, serious, uncertain times, man. All right? Another lesson on just fearing the God of the Bible. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere I can Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, regardless of people here for a bear. Fear the Lord. Shalom.